So here we have a very nice 8K TV right here. Yes, sir. So hi, so who are you? I'm Oliver, I'm working for TCL. Welcome at IFA here in Berlin. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Charbax. So um, this is an 8K TV, uh, 75 inch. Yes, we're gonna do a global launch with this TV. It's gonna be launched everywhere in the world. But here in Europe, we're gonna launch this 75 inch by the mid of next year, so mid 2K20, during the summer. Do you know why during the summer is a good time? Because the Olympics are yeah, 8K, right? Yeah, they're gonna be broadcasted in 8K. So this is the first global event next year during the summer. Olympic Games in Japan, I think, they're gonna be in 8K. So there is no rush to launch this model. We're gonna launch it in time for this big event. Uh, what would be great is if you can make 8K popular, that means affordable. That's exactly our mission in TCL. We want to make innovation and technology affordable to consumers. So you can be sure that this model will be positioned at the right price and probably much lower price than what you find today on the market. So that's, uh, I can just start to speculate, we can start to guess. It all depends on the factory, how you enable to make mass production, hopefully more or less affordable. But uh, hopefully the price is gonna be that many people will afford it. Yes, it's gonna be an 8K affordable TV, so 75 inch, potentially two, three times cheaper than what you can find today on the market, because we are talking about June or mid-year 2K20. The reason why we can introduce this product really affordable is also because we control the technology inside. We have our own factories, uh, TCL factories of display called CSOT. So this panel, this display is already in mass production, but the more volumes, the lower the price, yes. And uh, does it do quantum dot? This model will be an X-Series 8K quantum dot and 120 Hz panel, so 100 Hz in Europe. So you will see very good picture quality indeed. Very nice big one. And here you have a, a this is a even more affordable 4K. Yeah, so this one will be launched uh, in one or two months from now. It's a QLED TV. So 4K, not 8K. We're gonna launch it in 55 inch and 65 inch. Here, what you can see is really nice. is It's coming on a sheet of glass, very robust sheet of glass. So the product looks really floating in the air. And on the front, we have a great Ankyo soundbar. Android TV inside. All the goodies are there. QLED. I'm not sure if you still, yeah, yeah you still QLED. QLED, Ankyo, Android and this nice sheet of glass, borderless TV, so no front. Is it possible to buy the TV without the soundbar? This is including soundbar. The soundbar can be removed, but then you lose your sound, so you need to uh, pair another soundbar if you, if you would like to remove it. But you, you cannot buy it without? It comes together. It comes together. It comes together, yes. It'd be very affordable, 55, 65 inch. True, so for sure, um, below 1,000 euro, yes, for sure. And uh, do you talk about the nits, how bright it gets? Yeah, so that, that one can uh, reach an HDR premium of 500 nits. So we call it HDR premium 500 because the peak brightness is 500 nits. So very good brightness, very good picture quality coupled to the quantum dot, coupled to nice. the QLED. And then you have another new technology. What I here. also need to mention ah, to yeah. you, you still yeah. is Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos HDR10 compatible. So we are supporting all the standards. When you buy this QLED TV, you don't need to care about the standard because we support them all. HLG. HLG, HDR, HDR10+, plus, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. Nice. All of them. And uh, this is a nice looking TV also. Is this, this is new technology. Yeah, this is the mini LED TV. This is the slimmest direct LED TV in the world. So some people say direct LED is also called uh, full array local dimming. Full array local dimming means the LEDs are placed, all placed at the back. Here, how many, how many you got? So here we have 768 zones of 20 LEDs, which is 15,000 LEDs. So over there at the back, we have 15,000 LEDs Disseminated. 700 zones? 768 zones 
of 20 LEDs. Why do you have 20 in every zone? To make this zone very bright or very dark. Oh, yeah. And the pitch between each LEDs is so slim that we can put much more LEDs on such a display. You said 15,000? Yes, 15,000 LEDs. The big benefit here is that this black area, you can completely dim it, so it goes dark. The bright area is very bright. But the good news is that between the bright area and the dark area, you have almost no halo effect. Normally, yeah. when you look at the moon in the sky, you always see the halo around it. Here, we refine the LEDs so much that there is no halo. You see? Bright, dark, the transition is really nice in between these two. On most of the LED TVs today, you see a transition and the dark or the black are not so black. So what we, what we reach here is the black level of an OLED, but the brightness is much higher than an OLED and the color is also much more vivid than an OLED. I'm not sure if you can how really capture you this on a... How, how bright do you get? 1,500 nits, so it's, it's so-called HDR premium, 1,500 nits. So it's a little bit more premium price than the other one, right? Yes, the price, also because this one is a 65 inch, so we, it's going to be more affordable than any OLED TV, of course. It has QLED, it has 100 Hz panel, it is direct backlight, Android TV, bezel-less, slim, slimmest LED TV or direct LED TV in the world, coupled with this Onkyo Dolby Atmos soundbar. Specifications are even better than an OLED. Price will be more affordable than any OLED on the market. It's not a quantum dot on glass, no? No, but it's, it's not quantum thin. dot on glass. It is quantum dot there is a quantum dot film, and behind the film, you have this mini LED display. Nice, and no burning like OLED sometimes? No, I will not, how to say, my job is not to kill OLED, yeah. because we, we are neutral, we also produce OLED in TCL. So, but you are right, it's an issue with OLED, you have sometimes this burning effect, and this power consumption effect. Here, on direct LED, no burning effect, and the power consumption is going to be very efficient very low. And um, one thing that I thought was amazing at the CES video, it was this uh, talk about the AI codec and stuff. Yeah. Behind here it says AI IoT making life intelligent. Right. Uh, why is this behind the TVs? Okay, our TVs do embark more and more artificial intelligence. It's not only Android, Google Assistant, searching the web, it's also to improve picture quality and the sound quality with special intelligent algorithm. For example, AI means when you show a desert scene, a scene happening in a desert, in the broadcast you have some keywords transmitted. The keywords will be recognized and the TV, thanks to a library, say, oh, this is the sand, this is the desert, I will adapt the picture quality profile to the desert. So this is artificial intelligence applied to picture quality. Same for the sound quality. We have special alg algorithm to improve the sound quality. But when I did the video about this codec, yep. it was like 20 times smaller than H.264 or 5. Maybe that was for the US That's market, right? special R&D happening, right? There's a lot of things happening in the uh, development. And what is the chipset? Re reducing the bandwidth. Yeah, probably. what's the that chipset was... that you use? Do you talk about this? Is this a new generation of chipsets and everything? Yes, it's a, it's it's a new generation of chipset. I cannot reveal the supplier of the chipset because the TV is not yet on the market. But you can be sure it's, it's a very, well, in fact, we have two powerful chipsets inside uh, for the picture quality and for the upscaling and for the artificial intelligence. Yes. Sometimes some people say, much more of course, details. but sometimes some people say that Samsung or LG have, or Sony have uh, superior chipsets. But would you say that maybe not? Maybe you are, in terms of uh, all this processing happening, that makes the quality better. And, but that was before, maybe. I cannot comment really on which kind of chipset they are using. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know exactly what, what they told you or what they say. Uh, I can only comment here 
we are using the latest generation of chipset, uh, specifically on the artificial intelligence. So, is it more powerful than Samsung or LG? I cannot comment. Is it the latest generation? Yes, it is. 